Do you struggle when it comes to fluffying up your creations? Do you wish your OC stopped looking like a dysfunctional puffer fish? Well fear no more, with this mini tutorial you'll be able to fluff up anything you desire. I'll be using the drawing software side tool today, so if you don't have it then... Uh... Uh... First subject! Pick a creature which is known for being super fluffy! Or obviously you could just pick your OC if it has any fluff. Now that I have my subject, I'll show you how I usually fluffify things, which keep in mind is only one out of many ways to do it. So I make sure to put the base colour and shading down first so I have a gradient from dark to light in the area I want to fluff. When drawing, some people like to follow the rule of always working from dark to light, however when I do fur it's actually the opposite, so light to dark. I select the default brush tool and change the persistence to 100%. Then all I have to do is continuously flick my pen up in the direction I want the fur to go. Once I'm done with the light area, I then move to the mid and dark area. That's all there is to it! Fur is done! Good job everyone! Woo! I knew you could do it! Is it? If you want your fur to be a bit more detailed, then there are several things you can do. First, smudge the fur you've drawn with the default watercolour tool very gently so you can still see it but it's a bit more muted. Then, with a slightly lighter shade of whatever colour you're working on, draw some lines with the paintbrush. Remember to make sure you put the persistence down, again from 100% on the paintbrush, or nothing will happen. If you still want more detail, then you're going to have to retrieve your patience and start to introduce darker tones to really shape the fur strands. Also, you've got to remember to follow how the fur would grow and fall around the body and never ever have it going in just one direction. Once you've done those lines, you can add even more detail and add lighter strokes on top of it. Think of it like carving out your character with only fur. You need to be careful and wrap around the muscles and limbs, not make it look like you forced it to go parachuting. Unless you know it does that. <laughs> I'm not judging. Now remember, this is only my way of tackling the fluff, which is a more cartoony, lineless style. There are so many different ways you can go about it. Try and find your own style. It could be cartoony, with or without lines, stylized, realistic, it's all good stuff. Also, I only used the default brushes, but there are heaps of brushes made for drawing fur out there that you can just download and help create the perfect fluffy look, especially for those Photoshop users. So yeah, have a go. It might be a bit tricky at first, but don't give up. You can only get better. And remember, the art of fluffying can be a bit tough on your hands, so remember to take a break every now and then.